By the way, uh, Aquarius, we see the results now from uh, 12 seismometer. Looks like your booster just hit the moon and it's uh, rocking it a little bit. All right. Well, at least something worked on this flight. I'm sure glad we didn't have a limb impact, too. Jim, you are go for the burn. Go for the burn. Roger, understand. Go for the burn. Guidance okay? We're good, flight. Control okay? We're okay, flight. Tell me. We're go, flight. Inco okay? We're good, flight. Ground confirms ignition. We're burning 40%. Boris Houston, you're looking good. Roger. Shut down. Roger, shut down. I say that was a good burn. Roger, now we want to power down as soon as possible. Understand. To conserve the electric power and cooling water, the crew shut down all but the vital life-sustaining systems of the LEM. I think the LEM spacecraft's in uh, excellent shape. And I think it's fully capable of uh, getting the crew back. Uh, I think, as we have found before, every time we've put the LEM spacecraft to a test, it's always done much more than it was guaranteed to do, and I think this is a good case in point. Conserve the consumables, cooling water, electric power. The LEM water gun was leaking, and uh, we shut that off. Uh, I guess it leaked about a quart of water, I would, I would estimate. But it took me about two days to get my feet dry. And of course, it is, uh, I think you were all aware that the temperatures were going down in the both vehicles. And uh, uh, it's made for very chilly feet for a couple days. <laughs>